Yo, what is going on, squad? One word, Isomax. Well, that's technically two words. You guys know what I'm talking about. Isomax, the ISO chain is finally getting a successor after two years. It has gotten so much support and rightfully so because people have been getting really strong. Um, their joints have been feeling a lot better. They've increased their ADLs activity to daily living with just a six second workout. You know, that's just one exercise, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's really like a five to 10 minute workout for a full body, which is incredible. I mean, the benefits that isometrics have, um, especially measurable, have are incredible. And they decided to one up the ISO chain, which is already a product that I have given a nine out of 10. And they're going to give it the Isomax upgrade, which may be that 10 out of 10, but we're not sure. So what I'm going to say first is that I'm not going to judge the Isomax. I do not have it in my possession as of this video. It is going to be in my possession relatively soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but Dragon Door was kind enough to supply me with one um, on the house, which I'm very appreciative of. I was willing to pay, but they're just like, nah, bro, you good? So... I appreciate it guys thank you thank you thank you i can't wait to do reviews on it oh my god i wanted to i wanted to do reviews on it like oh um, ah okay anyway so i wanted to drop this because i wanted to tell you guys three pieces about the isomax that i'm really excited about one is something that if you and i'm gonna have the link below so you guys can check it out um, on your own but the first thing which i think is really slept on is the fact that the Isomax starts its readout at five pounds, not 10. Interesting, right? So the reason why I think that that's important is because of those annoying lifts, like reverse curl and front raise, especially front raise. Now, I've had clients on the ISO chain over Zoom calls and they're starting, now they're fine now, they're fine. But when we first started, their front raise numbers wouldn't register. And it's okay. Think about it. Like, we don't really use our front delts unless we're, like, into something that's already active. You know, that's great. You know, and chances are you're going to register. But for someone just starting out and they're getting back into fitness and they're doing the front raise, it's not going to register. Their front delts are not strong enough, which is okay. That's what we got the product for. I would find that it would be discouraging to have them on the front raise and I would just be like, okay, what's the number you got? And they're just like, it says zero. And I'm like, that can't be right. And this is at the beginning of when I started training online with it. It's because they didn't register over 10 pounds. The front raise, if you've done the front raise on the ISO chain, you know it sucks. Um, not like bad in a bad way. It's just like, it's just difficult. It's just difficult is the, the muscle is not that big. The front delt is not that big. So makes sense. But now we have a five pound initial readout so that is great i'm really excited for that it's very good for beginners and those really annoying accessory lifts like that um now we can register a little earlier i think that is a great addition to the isomax um a little bit of oversight there i, I think that's fantastic number two let's address the elephant in the room chest press baby yo let's go let's freaking go yo i cannot wait to do chest press on the isomax yo my bench i'm trying to get my bench up so high my goal is i want to do um 315 for reps so i've gotten 315 for like a sloppy two or three in the past but like you know granted i'm like you know one 180 and i should be doing that with relative ease but i'll be honest i just eh, it's just been a slow gainer for me it's, it's been gaining but it's just been a slow gainer and then you know you had the whole surgery last year but anyway that's that's neither here nor there this is going to help tremendously tremendously and if you know the value of isometric training especially oi i mean this is this is just such a freaking game changer you can change the strap so you can now start your bench press all the way down here so bottom position still got your mid and you got near lockout. When you had that weird setup with the uh, the ISO chain bench back when I first started the channel, you know, with the I think it's still over there, the um the uh, wooden OG uh, piece I attached the OG to the um the digital dragon door bar, was it still effective? Yes. Did it still help? Yes. But you were only really getting lockout, and it put torque on the freaking loading ring. So it's just like, should we really be doing this? I don't know. I mean, the bar is pretty expensive. I don't want to be like ruining my device. 
with this custom setup so even i was actually kind of apprehensive to drop that video but i'm just like you know people wanted it so that's why i said use this at your own discretion but um yeah now you don't have to worry about it anymore it's just there i'm so hyped for this let's go chess was like the weakest link get it link iso chain okay i'm, I'm out of here but i'm so glad that that's being addressed next thing depth 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 what do I mean? I mean, we can finally do the freaking real deadlift. The real deadlift. Because we can go below the uh, the lowest chain link allowed us to. So the spring is gone. So you can see in this photo right here, there is no spring anymore. All right, so it's attached to that polymer base. So we can just go all the way to the bottom and get deep into that deadlift position. Now, when we launch from launch phase and we try, obviously we're not going to get into the concentric because there ain't none, but like, when we go into that initial lift from the very bottom, think about it. That's where people struggle. When, when people struggle with deadlift, it's not really mid position. Honestly, that's where people have the most power. You might have exceptions to the rule every now and then, but that's when people have the most power in their deadlift. Where people struggle the most is initial launch phase. And not talking about form like cat back, just like literally that's the, one of the hardest parts. And the other part is near lockout where they're just like, they had the power to drive off from the ground. But they just can't get that hip hinge, that lockout near the top of the movement. All right. Those are the two problem areas for deadlift usually, right? So now one of them was already taken care of. You could just, you know, pull deadlift high position. That's fine. You know, but now we can work on the lockout phase, the true lockout phase. So we can just set it up on the isomax, the lowest position possible, or if you have a barbell or whatever at home, you can measure the distance from, if you have put a five pound on the barbell, a 10, a 25, and just put that on the isomax, and now you're mimicking what it would feel like. I'm gonna put it on the 45, obviously, but you know what I'm talking about? Now you have true lockout. This is true deadlift, true deadlift. Caption that. Yo, I'm so hyped for that. I don't deadlift anymore. I just do RDLs. It's really good for my lower back. Incredibly good. I haven't had a lower back issue in months now. Knock on wood. But it's just so, oh my God. You guys see what I'm talking about. You see the, the value of it, right? Okay. We have a rechargeable battery, which is nice. So for me, I've had to replace the batteries on one of my ISO chains once. And honestly, that's good. You know, I, I think that I had to do that because um, at an ISO chain event at, at the house, um, somebody may have forgotten to turn it off. So I came in and then it just died. It was at like 1% or like one of those three dash bar thingies. Other than that, honestly, I think it's pretty efficient with the battery power and, and how much it uses. But having it rechargeable, that's just extra icing on the cake. And I really, I really do like that. I do like that they added that. Yo, so the base plate, all right, is polymer, heavy duty polymer, lightweight, scratch resistant, and slip proof. So have you slipped on the ISO chain before? I haven't, except for when it was kind of like damp down here one time. And we didn't run a dehumidifier and I freaking slipped on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's on me but i'm really liking that they're addressing all of our not complaints we're just talking to them about our experiences with it and they're they were taking notes and they actually freaking fix it like dragon or just been on it with this and i really appreciate that you know i really don't see companies like this where they are aware of an issue and actually immediately jump on it and try and remedy the issue i just obviously it's out there but i just don't see it often do you by the way the straps are numbers so we used to use like tape so i have like a white or blue tape every five chain links that's gone baby it's already numbered it's already wow. numbered we don't have to do anything yo training online is gonna be so much easier now training ourselves is gonna be so much easier now the one concern that i had was if that strap was gonna be able to hold up and secondly if the strap was going to be able to hold up over the life of the item when i look at that chain i really don't see it breaking guys like i really i really don't see that breaking with a strap it's a little different um but when i read what it was made of which is hopefully i'm not butchering this word polyamide fiber it's not going anywhere also you know we just 
kind of have to already assume that Dragondor knows that we're going to be increasing in strength. There's going to be some strong dudes on here. You know, it still maxes at 999. Um, so maybe that ISO Max Plus is coming out in a, at a later date. But, um, I, I, you know, obviously that's on them. But it can handle the forces. I'm really excited for that. You know, snap, snap pokes are already there. Switching between numbers for each exercise is going to be so simple. But guys, there will be many, many videos on the isomax when i get my unit so stay tuned for that but in the meantime what are your thoughts are you hype what are you most excited about with the isomax go ahead and drop your comments down below thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to drop a like button comment if you're not a part of the squad hit the subscribe button come join that squad with us see you in the next video peace